Alright guys, Cypher the Reaper Hog here coming at you with a tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about basic animation in Flash. So first off, we're going to open up Flash. And I already got that open. And we're going to open up a sprite sheet and Macromedia Fireworks. That's what I recommend using. So we have my sheet here. And... Let's see, what animation will we use today? Hmm. Okay. We're going to take this kicking animation. And we're going to copy it. And there's two ways you can make a symbol. Control F8 is the quickest way. So we're going to rename this Scythe Kick. And what you do is you paste it on there change the background now you see this this you can't get each individual sprite out so I'm going to take the bitmap and we're going to modify and we're going to hit trace bitmap color threshold 1 minimum area 1 curve fit pixels and corner threshold normal as a matter of fact hold on okay we're back now we trace the bitmap and you see how it does all of this we're going to click this background well the part that we don't need and it's going to remove all of this hit backspace well let me show you hit delete or backspace doesn't matter and what we do is we take these and we cut them by pressing cut or easier control and X now as you can see there are still well there's still some of the um, background off so if you want your movies to come out looking at least halfway decent then you need to get everything off of the sprite so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna insert blank keyframe because the keyframes are what our animations are well that's how our animations work are in keyframes now you can either do onion skin or you can do edit multiple frames edit multiple frames is not recommended on if you're new to flash but since i've been using flash for a while now i use edit multiple frames so i paste it and you drag it over here and you see the guidelines coming up so now we have this and you just keep on repeating Oh yeah, don't forget to remove the little background spots and all of that. So you keep inserting blank, blank keyframes until you're done with the animation that you want to use in the movie. Sometimes it'll automatically snap to it and well, you don't really have to worry about aligning it up correctly. So yeah. Hmm, this is going to take a while. As a matter of fact, I don't think that I even use this animation in any of my Flash movies, so I'm kind of getting a kind of head start. Oh yeah, make sure you use paste in place. Well, most of the time, paste in place. Hmm, okay. So the animation's coming along pretty fine. Oh yeah, you can feel free to turn off onion skin if you really can't see anything. But I'm telling you, if you read this guy makes the tutorials look like a he makes the, the tutorials are really easy to follow. I recommend his. I'm not a good teacher. Okay. So now we're done with this animation. And yeah, you can delete the bitmap since it's already been traced. So we're going to scale and rotate. And you can do that by, by pressing. Damn. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm kind of nervous about high school here. Um, today. Ah, fuck it. I'll tell you at the end. Press Control Alt S for scale and rotate. 
scale it 200%. That's normally what I do. And to play the animation, first off, the length of the animation, well, the duration of it, that's how many frames you're going to have to make it. So, since it's five animations, I mean, since it's five frames long, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Five frames. Press Control and Enter to test your movie. And there you have it. You got your little chicken animation. Looks badass, don't it? Well, let's continue. Now, a little question that a friend asked me was how to use the VCAM. Okay, first off, we're going to open up one of my old flashes so I can get the VCAM out of that, so wait. Copy and paste. Okay, guys, make a new layer. And be sure to lock this layer so you don't interfere with it when messing around with the VCAM. Same goes for the VCAM. When you're not using it, please lock the layer. Or else you're going to fuck it up. Now, do the Control alt s and scale and rotate. And you can scale it down however much. I do not mess with free transform because it kind of mess. It makes my flash look kind of crappy. So, keep scaling and rotating it down. And make it the length of the animation. V cam, the V cam is like basically a camera. Whatever, ins whatever is inside of the square is what's going to be shown on the flash. So let's test it out. See, kind of got close. It zoomed in a little bit. Now there's a thing called motion twinning. Motion twinning, twinning works like this. You get your your first frame. Make it however, make the um, however long you want the freaking thing to be. Can't explain it. And you kind of scale it down to just like resize it. So we're going to do it like this. And we test it out. And it kind of zooms in. There you go. Now, you can also use Control Z to do the undo thingy. So, yeah. Let's give it another test kind of slide it over a little bit well that doesn't work does it how about now now it does since it doesn't have any since it doesn't have a background you probably won't be able to tell the difference of if it had one but who cares okay now we're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna like kinda show another feature that the V can, well, we're gonna show you something that the VCAM can do too. And that is open up this and we're gonna open up Oh yeah, you're not supposed to see that. Let's see. Sprites. Um let's open up oh, wrong thing. Uh we're gonna open up Tails, I guess. I don't really like him. Or it, for that matter. Okay. Alright. So. We're going to use this. We're going to use this hurt sprite of him. We're going to just create a new symbol. All of that. So we're going to name it Tails Hurt. Oh yeah, good way to organize your stuff so you don't have a long list of items in your library is to make folders for every character. That way, your your um flash well it'll be easier to find it. See, check. Collapse all folders. See, it's very organized, and then you can easily expand all the folders like this. And there you go. You have everything that you need. Okay, this is a lot of stuff, but see. You don't really have to worry about going through a long list of stuff. And now we're gonna just trace bitmap it and all of that good stuff. I'm really lazy right now, so I really don't feel like removing all of this. But I'm gonna be using this for my flash, so I might as well. <coughs> 